brace yourself and fasten your seatbelt because our video for today is something so breathtaking and unbelievable. And with that said, if you are fond of watching power line workers risking their lives working at a very high altitude, then you are in the right place. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Arthur and welcome back again to our channel. And now before we get started, be sure to subscribe and push the bell icon for you to always be updated with our new videos. And so without further ado, here we go with our video. Number 1. Workers walk in the air to check power lines. It is a job that requires meticulousness, speed, and courage in equal measure. Braving heights, workers for China's southern power grid were seen checking over 110 kilometers of cables between Heba and Yulu Snowy Mountains in southwest China's Yunnan province. They are expected to finish the work in five days. Number 2. Working as a power line engineer requires courage. Check out this dangerous job in which power line engineers must climb 70 meter high transmission towers to perform safety checks on the high voltage transmission lines. At this height, strong winds force the workers to stay low and rely on their safety rope. An ability to work together makes it go more smoothly. Each worker must check 8 kilometers of cables to find any potential problems. Sometimes, there are over 100 workers in the air at once. The system must be overhauled on an annual basis. Number 3 is Long Distance Power Line from Xinjiang to East China under construction. An ultra-high voltage power line which will transmit electricity from Xinjiang to the east of China is under construction. In total, the line will be 3,324 kilometers long through Xinjiang, Gansu, Ningxia, Shaanxi, Henan, and Anhui. Total investment is 40 billion yuan. The line will provide enough power to light up 400 million light bulbs. The project is expected to be operational. Number 4 is Workers Maintain Transmission Tower. An altitude of 5,548 meters. Electrical workers maintain a transmission tower at the mountain peak to ensure power supply in Tibet, China. It's among the transmission powers with the highest altitude in the world. Electrical workers are climbing to check the tower before heavy snow seal the mountain passes in winter. They usually maintain the power once every three months to ensure electricity supply to local residents. Number 5. Helicopter-borne workers fix 1,100 kV power line in East China. A maintenance team is preparing to repair power lines. They will be inched into place by this helicopter. The lines transmit 1,100 kV of electricity and they are live.
the team had been briefed that two dangerous flaws were detected on a tower along the power network. Live wire maintenance is a quick and highly efficient way to solve issues without cutting power. Number 6. Power workers walk in the clouds to repair lines. From the north of Zhejiang province in eastern China to Fuzhou in the southeastern Fujian province, there's a large, uninhabited area of endless mountains, crisscrossed by ultra-high voltage transmission lines that can weigh more than 270 kilometers. After first entering operation in 2015, the North Zhejiang Fuzhou UHB AC power underwent its first series of safety checks. The power workers need to walk on wires no thicker than bottle caps, with only a thin wire on either side to hold onto, with a deep valley directly below their feet. Number 7. Perilous Balancing Act for China's First Female UHB Workers Amid ice and snow, several female workers climb up a pylon to do maintenance work on the 1000 kV ultra-high voltage power line in Inner Mongolia's Xilingo League. Nicknamed Steel Roses by locals, they are the first female workers to do ultra-high voltage electricity transmission work in China. The job is not just dangerous due to the heights at which they work. The power line also transmits over 1000 kV of electricity, the highest level in the world. Number 8 is World's Highest Transmission Towers Put Into Service The world's tallest power transmission towers were getting their final check in China's eastern Zhejiang province. The towers are 380 meters tall and used to suspend power cables across a 1.7 kilometer wide channel between coastal islands. Built at a cost of 462 million yuan, the pylons are designed to boost the power supply and improve the reliability of electricity service to nearby Zhongshan city. And that's pretty much it for today. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Once again, this is Arthur. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.